Hi, welcome to Matt Holman Golf. Thought I'd take a quick look at Ryan Moore. Slightly unusual swing, but incredibly effective. One of the straightest hitters on the PJ Tour. And he's just come off a very hot spell, I think, a win, and, and then with the Ryder Cup. So look, we can start on the left-hand side. I actually think for you know many amateur golfers out there, the feelings... Or, or that sort of visual of Ryan Moore swing I think would be good for a lot of amateurs. Uh, you're going to see with Ryan it's very much sort of hands in but the club is up and out early. Another model I can think of, someone like a Jay Haas, similar sort of look there. So very much hands in, club out, you know, incredibly out to be honest. The shaft's very, very steep halfway through. So if you looked at that sort of a swing style David Ledbetter's talking about. I mean, that's a very A swing back swing. Tend to see amateur golfers where the club head would move very much sort of under our shaft plane line very quickly. So it, it, it's very much an opposite of that. You know, hand plane, arm plane, relatively orthodox. It's a club shaft, club head that's very much up and outside the line. And you can see at that sort of set place, I mean, the, the shaft is nearly sort of matching his spine I mean it's sort of actually pointing back at his heels there so I mean about as steep as it could be the plus is from there there's not really anywhere to go now apart from sort of start to shallow the shaft and that's what we start to see arms start to work more through the middle of his body you know, as he gets to the top there starts to look more and more orthodox and due to that sort of up and out movement he's now really going to go ahead and and shallow the arm plane aggressively so now by halfway down to be honest he looks pretty much like all the other guys out there arms are through the middle of the chest club shaft actually where it was so steep going up actually starts to to shallow maybe even slightly more than average coming down then goes ahead and you know really at this point delivery uh, as good as it gets turn the chest well with loads of clearance there um, and then he goes ahead and, and swings the handle back to the left hand side so I think from this he can fade and draw the ball he very much tends to aim left for any of you watching the Ryder Cup I think maybe you would have picked up on this this shot again I think we can see Miller the fairway here got his left alignment he still have that alignment even for a draw and in the swings I've studied of him he then just dropped those arms and, and club shaft even further behind him so this is his slight fade and I think if we let this one go you can see the ball starts pretty straight here and pick it up about here um, and then ends up being a, a, a slight fade on his draw swings as he comes down what you'll tend to see is that club shaft will just be a little bit flatter there um, a slightly shallower angle and, and that's how he swings slightly more from the inside and, and hit a draw and I think you know for your average golfer maybe you haven't got to be Sort of as exaggerated in, the, in those feelings but definitely that visual is going to be a, a good way to go so if we just quickly look at the face on this was about the only face on footage I could find he has a relatively wide stance there slightly wider than the average all just inside our front heel and to be honest from the face on very orthodox movement it's hard with my lines there because the, the camera sort of shooting all over the place but it's very much a centered look uh, there's not too much shift going on there it's a completed look very nice pressure forward through the the lead hip there which allows those arms to fall down uh, from the inside and he covers very well I mean again through the ball and really from face on at large it's about you know as orthodox as it gets but a very simple look just really all stemmed from it's sort of very much hands in but up and out backswing that actually really allowed him to go ahead and and, and shallow the, the, the shaft aggressively and you'll see a lot of good players sort of versions of that sort of sequence we won't see so many the club head rolling very much inside early because that tends to end up on this big outside in downswing and the sort of amateur faults of big slides for more videos like this, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking the red button below. Please feel free to leave your comments and questions. And if you'd like a personalised review of your swing, check out my website, mattholmangolf.com.